everyone and welcome to another tutorial from me for Brigitte's Mixed Media Crew. I'm starting off here with some grid paper and some of my Deco Arts paints and I'm just painting some strips because I'm going to be stamping onto these to create my own washi tape with Brigitte's I Heart Washi stamps. So I'm just prepping it with a couple of colours. I've got green, I've got yellow and I've got some orange here. Some nice bright primary colours here for this project. So I'm just painting them out in strips and I'm going to put it to one side to dry while I work inside of my altered art book. So while I wait for the paint to dry inside of my grid paper there that I have just painted, I'm inside my altered art book here and I'm using some magenta again from Deco Arts to just paint some random splotches across the middle of this page. I love this red colour, it's such a vibrant one and I'm just going in with my really large brush and just really slapping on the paint here, not too much thought going on, just spreading it right across the two pages. So I'm going in here now with the Deco Arts Gesso and Gesso is something that I really love to use to prep my pages but I also love to keep it on hand to use as a white paint or to kind of spread thinly across other colours to unify them. So I'm using it here as a white paint and it's also going to give me a really nice surface to go over when I add in some other colours just to break up that red and create like a nice pop of colour across the page. So I'm going in now with some teal from Deco Arts as well, just right over the top of my white gesso and I'm just using the shape of my brush to create these marks across my page. I'm going in now again with a green to just add a little bit of contrast there to that teal and it really pops against the gesso because I popped it down on my page, it's really making it much brighter than it would have been if I hadn't added the gesso. It would have been very hard to compete there with that red, it's a very strong colour so adding that white undertone really allows 
allows the other colours that I add on top to give a really nice contrast and really look great across the page. So back here with my grid paper, it's all dry now after putting the paint down and I have got my Stays On black ink pad and the I Heart Washi to stamps from Biggie and I'm just going to stamp them straight across the top of this paint that I have put down already. The grid paper is going to give me a nice contrast to my book text and because it's white it's going to really pop against my page. So I'm just doing a couple of double stamps, I have lighter and I don't really care, it looks really cool I think, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp the rest of them now in the different colours. So I also went ahead and stamped the sentiment there, Life is Pretty Awesome, from Brigitte's stamp set of the same name, just to give my page a bit of a title. I'm going to go ahead and tear these strips off the page by hand. It's just giving me a much more kind of jaggedy edge and a bit more of a contrast to the straight lines of all of my texts on my book. I didn't want to cut it out with scissors and have it be too precise. So I'm going in now and gluing down my sentiment and also gluing down my paper washi that I made and I really love how it turned out. It's really nice, the pops against the back of the red there. I go in with my Liquitex marker now as well in the moment in the turquoise and just circle around the sentiment and it just really ties together the page. The colour from the marks on the bottom and the colour from the paint pen really ties the two pages together and I really like it. I hope that you enjoyed it and you're inspired to get involved with your altered book. It's a really fun place for me to work so I definitely recommend it and I will talk to you guys very very soon.